Good morning, afternoon, evening. <laughs> Hello. Dude, I just, I just got to sleep, Love wake up, play PUE right better. now. You know the vibe. Hello. Will you find my Ubers on Archmage? I will. Yeah, I actually will. I'm kind of going to cheat, though. My collection grows. I'm probably going to go Mage How Blood. How is this build for bossing, boy? I, I ripped at 85 to a creep mod plus to two boys frown need a new build. This specific setup, the Frostball, it's probably one of the best bossing builds in the game. I'm not ready to boss yet, but I'm almost fully geared. And then vibrator on. So you just fixing the game? Yeah. I guess it's definitely better to go overboard. It's more fun. And the game is about having fun. Are you worried that you're overcorrecting? I am, yeah. I, I mean, I'm okay with it though. I mean, obviously, right? I am a loot whore, so. It's gonna be way too good. Yeah, I am of the opinion uh, as well that it's too good. I mean, maybe it needs to be a little too good to get people's, you know, bonus back. I, I, I've kind of... Oh, yo, Snatet actually did one. Yo, how was it? We got a gamer over here, guys. We got a gamer. I one-shot the bosses. Is he DD? Hierophant. Are we same build? Post champ? Post champ? Post champ? Pog? I have Aurobot and Mana Guardian. Okay, that's fucking unethical, bro. Okay, I need a fucking Aurobot and a Mana Guardian. You know, because you have no auras, I'm pretty sure a Mana Guardian and an Aurobot is like the most broken shit ever on this build. Like, Wrath plus Haste. Maybe converting with Call of the Brotherhood for double dipping benefits too. Like, holy shit. Holy shit, dude. Okay, maybe, maybe that's the angle, bro. You just play with the fucking aura bot. You know, I might actually attempt the impulse setup at some point. Like, if I get to level 100, I'm definitely considering re-rolling this build when I hit 100. Not to, like, j just have two. I want to play this build twice. You know what I mean? Does this have more damage than Cock DD and Quiz? Nah, no, it doesn't. So th this build PB is between like 20 and 30 million until you get like GG gear and then you get up to about 50 million. I'm pretty sure Cock DD... Does Cock DD go more than that? I think so, right? It definitely outscales DD, which is fucking cool. One of the few league starters you can play in hardcore that can actually outscale regular DD like quite a bit. You tempted any of his? No, I'm still finishing my gear. I know it's cringe, like... Oh, he's still farming here? Cringe, but, you know, I'm pretty close. I want to fix up my helmet and my boots. And then do my Eldritch Implicit, so we're good to go. Like, all the actual... Everything's pretty much ready. Leg buffs, what happened? Um, they basically said, Okay, what if we just say yes to every single thing that people want? Like, everything. That's basically what they did. I, I think it's probably going to be too much. But that's okay. I mean, we've had Harvest before. We've had Affliction League and Crucible. I mean, it's, it's, you know, who cares, right? I mean, going too much is not really a thing in this game, I guess. I'm happy. I'll put it that way. I guess it, it kind of needs to be OP. One thing, one theme I've noticed with Crafting Leagues is they need to be OP because otherwise people don't engage with it. Like, if mobs drop, like, Chaos Orbs, people will engage with it. But if mobs drop, like, I don't know, a corpse that you have to craft with, people are like, they don't like that as much. So it kind of needs to be, it needs to overcompensate for people to be like vibe on. Do you think Archmage Arc would be a viable option? To be clear about the way Archmage works, is it gives you about 2,000 or up to 2,000 damage. You could pretty much use like, you could use anything. You could probably do everything in the game that isn't an uber with Ark on this build. Yeah, you could probably... I mean, maybe before the league ends, I'll, I'll clear every... I'll clear every non-piece of uber content in the game on this build with every single spell that can be supported. Imagine there was a skill in the game that hit one enemy, right? And did... Archmage lightning damage. That's it. That's it, right? It had no other properties Right, it was basically imagine basically auto attack, right? Imagine you, you had auto spell, right? That skill would kill 
everything in the game that wasn't an uber. Is it better to scale the damage of the skill of the lightning from Archmage? Okay. So the damage from Archmage is like... 80... no, 90% of your damage. And then the damage from your skill is 10%. It's the equivalent of like one gem level. Right? On most builds. That, that's why um, I think people don't realize that you can play any uh, skill because they think like the skill of the the damage of the skill matters, but it doesn't. Is the ability you're playing better than ball lightning? I'm kind of of the opinion that it is now, but it is a two button build. It's it's a matter of opinion. How much do you value the ability to press one button? That's the question. Because it's about three times more damage to press two buttons. Definitely, definitely one thing I did not expect is the clear speed. I, I actually did not think the clear on this would be good, but because you have so much AoE, it's kind, it kind of fucks. And the card speed kind of solves the problem. How do you trigger Arcane Cloak? I can't do it with Automaton. Turn it on. It's like an aura, see? You have to turn it on. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Whenever somebody- now, now don't get me wrong, I totally get why. But whenever somebody asks me, like, how do you use Arcane Cloak with Automaton, it doesn't work. I picture, like, some guy working in an office, and someone who works in upper management comes down and he's like, So my computer is not turning on. And they're like, let me go look. And they just plug in the fucking cable, and it turns on. And they're like, it's all working now. <laughs> And they're like, man, what would we do without you, IT guy? Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. What can I do for you today, sir? Automaton isn't working without King Cloak. Um, have you tried turning it on? Happy to help. Good day, sir. Yeah, put that in a clip. <laughs> 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 yeah, put it in a clip, dude. Here you go. Oh, you legend. What can I do for you today, sir? Automaton <laughs> isn't working without King Cloak. Um, have you tried turning it on? <laughs> That's actually good. <laughs> Yo, it's actually good. Oh, shit. Oh, that's good actually. We 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 like to have fun here at the office. All right, we like that. We like to have fun here, chat. How upset will you be when Archmage gets nerfed and Diddy gets buffed next league? That's that's fucked up. Made a video for you. Right, give me a second. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, I love my tea crowd. What can I do for you today, sir? My automaton not working with that cane cloak. Automaton isn't working with that cane cloak. Um, have you tried? <laughs> on? Oh, thanks, Mr. Streamer. Happy to help. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. What's the plan for today? Um, I'm going to finish my gear very shortly. Well, when I say finish, I mean like to a degree which is acceptable. Like it's got all the boxes tick kind of thing. Then we're gonna start farming currency somehow. I'm not sure what the best money making method is gonna be. But we need to make money, 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 money. I'm thinking we do bossing though, because this character is so good at it. I feel like they nerf stack decks, but any source of anything that gave cards, like stack decks are nerfed, but like if the actual card is the drop, that's buffed, right, by a lot, in theory. What did they say there on the podcast with Ziz and Mark? They said that Mage blood and doctor cards will be two and a half times more common. Wait, you guys missed that? That might not be the exact wording, but they definitely said mage blood. Like they definitely said apothecary. Like apothecary was named as an example. Right. What's the best way to farm like a trillion scarabs? 
Like, obviously, you spec into all the scarab nodes. What scarabs give you more scarabs, chat? Think about it. There have been four of the T0 scarabs in the entirety of Hardcore Trade. I have not found one myself yet. I found three. You found as many as the entirety of Hardcore Trade. How are you doing at Deathwind? What's the tech? Leak. Back to basics. Not hardcore viable though. 80% modifier effect. I'm genuinely shocked that that's, you think that that's better than influence. I was gonna say that you think it's better, but I mean, I guess it must be, right? I mean, you've had fucking three uber scabs when the entirety of hardcore has had none, like, or three, I should say. Check out the map. 449 quantity, 271 rarity. 162 pack size. How is that even possible though? I get that you obviously rolled 80%. Twist of fate. Your corrupted rare maps modified unpredictably. They have three additional modifiers. Oh, so you get three additional mods and then it gets 80%ed. Okay, yeah, that is not hardcore viable. Yeah. I was like, okay, I understand. Like, it's not just, like, rippy, it's, like, 8% more effect, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a death sentence. Omni and Ashes are uber drops now. I'm okay with that. It actually, like, I feel like they were kind of bad. I feel like they were, like, not very... Wait, so, wait, what are the normal bosses drop then? Wait, hold the phone. Basically, just... Wait! What the... Wait, what the fuck? Okay, never mind. I mean, I was... I, I was gonna say I'm okay with it being an uber drop. But like, are you telling me like the regular bosses don't drop loot now at all? Like they just, that's fucking, what? What? Are they, I mean, okay, I'm okay with that if the jewels are more common. Did they at least make the jewels more common? No. Do, wait. So are you telling me you only get jewel, so you get jewel boots and bow now and that's it? Oh, that's not good. I'm, I'm, I'm actually happy for Ashes to be on the Uber, but like... I feel like there needs to be an item worth farming on the regular bosses. Like Omni, like Exarch is giga worthless because the jewel is not worth anything at all there. Disillusion is not good. Like it's not a good item. That's one of the things I need. Should I just swap now? I think I should. Alright. Holy shit. 5k ES, 4k life, nearly 9k mana. 100% suppression. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. <sighs> Defensively, we're actually pretty good. Offensively, we're missing 10 million DPS or so. 10, 15 million. I'm just, it's, it's just the mom watches eye is what I'm missing. But I'll probably never get that, to be fair. Right, 68 chaos rays will have to do, I think. I can get a l I can get more, but that's gonna have to do for now. Let's do the ring first. Fire the cold. Then fire the lightning. I'll just do bell, I guess. Okay. I mean, it'll, it, it gets the job done. It gets the job done. It is what it is. Okay, the mo All right, I just need to finish my boot uh, Eldritch mods and maybe divine it a bit. And then we can start doing some content. Look at my mana region, by the way. 12 fucking 100 mana region. <laughs> <laughs> and I also have 300 life regen. That's pretty fucking good, eh? Uh, so, I have this ring that I bought from Mr. Bing Q. It has T1 everything except for Dex, which is amazing. And Dex is high enough to equip my gear, so no drama. Literal perfect ring pretty much for the- Yeah, you know, for like, perfect in the sense that like, it's got everything I want for now. Then I have this ring, which is- Now, I, I, I need to fix the prefixes. Later, not now, but later. But those suffixes, it has chaos resist, 
Life recoup and car speed. These are the mage blood. This is the mage blood ring. I'll just spoil it, I guess. This is the mage blood ring. I want two of these. I actually no. Oh, I just want a Calandra's touch actually. I wonder if I can buy one. Um, because I can just use that with Calandra's touch. But yeah, anyway. And then the other item I report on is these boots. They're not done yet, but they have fractured mana, spell suppression, avoid ailments, res, and then I have life and movement speed. But these boots, I, I need the implicits. I need to fix the implicits. Once the implicits are done, I just need to do the rest of my shit. And we basically have um, a build that should be able to just de like absolutely spicy? fucking destroy, like I mean destroy everything in the game except for Ubers. And you might be thinking, okay, okay, well, what about Ubers? Now, you could definitely do Ubers with this setup, but I have a better POB. It is a Mega Blur POB that I'm not going to share yet. Um, and the Mega POB has double the damage. Well, more than double the damage, actually. No, it's like triple. Anyway, it's a lot more damage. And has 90 max res. With like the same everything else. Mage Blood OP, basically. Come on, avoid elemental ailments. Oh, I think fuck. Okay, uh... I'm immune to ailments! <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, thank fuck chat. Oh, chat. Oh my god. It's over boys Chat is over Oh my god, so close chat. So close All right, nearly 1300 region All right, I just need to decide what I'm doing with my atlas. Um, I wouldn't mind keeping Exarch either and destructive play on my atlas. Do you think I should just pick one? Wait, no, but I should do I should do my void stone though. All right, fuck it. I'll I'll do the I'll do Uber Eater, Uber Elder real quick. I'm so curious what my damage is like. AOE crit boss damage, Yolo. At least diamonds are flare. Twin terrors. Hey, should we try Maven? I got a, I got a good feeling, chat. <laughs> it's the same strategy, hint I did, but instead of Veiled Chaos, you use the Veiled Orb, and you have to... Hang on. I need more damage. Behold my connection. Build, eh, boys? What a build. What a build. Definitely gonna be a weird build to boss on without like a mage blood. For like Ubers, I mean. is very good. No tink. And you shall obey my order. <laughs> I kind of want to. I, I wish we had a Mana Guardian and Aura Bot set up so we could do T17s like Snitat. That was actually really smart. Because th this build with Aura Bots 
would be like, 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 GG, right? I mean, you win the game, right? Dude, the boss is running away from me because it's scared of me, chat. <laughs> Dude, it's really nice. Uh, yeah, it is. Beautiful. Chat, the temptation to just do this all day. Oh my god. Oh my god. I said I wouldn't do it though, but the temptation. Oh, dude, I could just sit there farming Belda all day. I mean, you do get a lot of scarabs. It's just 90% of the scarabs you get are the common ones. So I have like 50 of all of these, right? So these are good. I mean, like I would have murdered to get 46 contains Mirror of Delirium and beyond. You know, like the having these for free is sick. Like it is nice. It's just the multipliers though, the multipliers aren't there. Essentially we lost the multipliers, right? It's way easier to do mid-level juicing, but way harder to do big juicing. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm just gonna be right back and go to the bathroom. I know I just took a break, but I'm just trying to like chill for a second. There are not nearly enough scabs in softcore to support multiple groups running. So all the solo players can't really juice at all. I look forward to our next fruitful exchange. Yeah. Chat, we now got a streamer who would suck a dog stick and one who would murder. Is it by any means surprising how we end up as raging redditors? Alright. You're on a bus, okay, that's hurtling towards a cliff edge all right there's a bunch of kids on the bus though okay now in order to save them you have to both suck <laughs> now i'll be right back one sec chat <laughs> 